bonjour and happy French Friday to you. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're visiting me for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica and you're watching French Farmhouse Flair. And last week we worked on these really pretty candle wall sconces that you see above my fireplace here in the dining room. And we gave them a makeover, giving them a French country look and style. So I was really happy with how those turned out. And then today we will be working on decorating the mantle and putting a little Valentine decor on there, plus adding a little bit to the mirror as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to add are these two topiaries to my mantle. And they weren't exactly what I was looking for, but I think they will do nicely on, on there. So let's go ahead and add those. Okay, so next I want to add this concrete pedestal to the middle of my mantle. And I picked this up uh, years ago at Hobby Lobby and I think they still sell them there. And it's nice to give a decor piece a little height. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. And I want to set this cherub on top of the pedestal. And I think that will look really nice. And I love how this cherub has the red on the wings here. And I think that will give it a really nice, um, add a little red touch for our Valentine's mantle. I picked this little cherub up uh, just recently at one of my local antique shops that I like to go to. Okay, we've added our cherub and I think that looks really nice center stage there. Okay, next we are going to add these, uh, they're calling them table top arch decor. I believe they're for uh, to hold a candle in, but instead of putting a candle on them, uh, we are going to just put these little floral arrangements, set these in there instead. And I think that will be really pretty and add a pop of color to the mantle as well. But first, I do want to give these little jars a makeover. They're not the color that I want, um, so I'm going to give them a quick little makeover first. with the first coat and that's all I'm gonna do with this paint I'm just doing one coat and I just did a very thin coat of paint on here of that um, because I did want to let the other colors show through and I really like the layered painted look here so I'm uh, gonna leave it like that and then I'm just gonna add um, a little more of the lighter color of the cream uh, antique parchment color on top, even though there is a little bit of that cream color showing through. I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, of that uh, to the details so it will stand out just a little bit better. Okay, I went ahead and added our little arched candle holders on the mantle and then I just placed the jars with the flowers in them on the mantle and I think they turned out really nice. I think uh, just adding a little bit more uh, touches of paint on those just adds more dimension and texture to them like our topiary pots. They've already have kind of an aged uh, look and patina to them. So I think I'm happy so far with how this is turning out. Now we're going to add the next layer and I will be adding candles next. Okay, these are the candles I will be adding. They are an LED 
uh, and they are remote control and so they have the nice uh, timer on them so you can just uh, use the remote and set the timer of how long you want your candles to be on for so I really like that and they do have that nice um, real looking flickering flame to them so let's go ahead and add these next okay here's what the candles look like on the mantle and I think it just adds a really nice cozy romantic touch to our Valentine decor and next we will be adding our Valentine decor up on our mirror here our French country mirror and I'll be hanging it on the hook up there so let's go ahead and do that next okay normally I'd probably just hang up a Valentine wreath on my mirror but I wanted to do something a little bit different this year so I found these three hearts at Ross and I ended up picking up a gold one in the larger size and then copper in the medium size and then I picked up the galvanized silver metal one in the smallest size and I thought maybe I could just tie them together and kind of um, just have them going down the largest one being probably I think I'm going to do that one on top and then the middle and then the small one hanging down just like that and I've got some jute rope here I may tie them together with but I also thought I might use some ribbon so we'll see what I end up using I've got some black and white little uh, small gingham checked ribbon that I could use that I have left over from Christmas or I could um, also use this uh, buffalo black and white checked uh, scarf that I picked up at the Dollar Tree store so I thought I would use some black and white just to tie in with my black and white buffalo checked curtains I have hanging in my dining room so we'll see what I end up doing I'm going to play around with it now and uh, see what looks best the hearts to the front of my mirror and, and I think that looks really pretty I'm happy with how that turned out and then after seeing how cute the bows looked on the hearts I ended up adding a little bit of ribbon to each of my jars with the flowers in it so I just tied a little red and white gingham checked ribbon on there and then I added the black and white checked gingham on the uh, topiary pots as well so I think that looks super nice and we are going to add a garland now to the front of the fireplace mantle okay so this is the garland that we will be adding to the front of the fireplace mantle it has little X's and O's on it and I picked this up at Target uh, dollar spot for three dollars and we are just going to give it a little bit of a makeover here and add the French word for love on here with using my stencils that I already had. So let's go ahead and get started on that project. Okay, I've hung my banner and I'm super pleased with how that turned out. I was very excited when I found that banner at Target Dollar Spot that I could, that it was just a plain one that I could uh, create and do make my own. And so I was very excited about that because I wasn't able to find a French Valentine banner. So I was glad that I could create my own this year. and. 
yeah, I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys are too. And let me know what your favorite thing was that we decorated with on the mantle today. And we have a lot more decorating coming up for Valentine's Day. I need to decorate my tea cart and my dining room table centerpiece and everything. And um, I wanna do a Valentine tree. So I have a lot more decorating coming your way. And I also want to share with you what this looks like during the day. So I will make sure I share that with you. And also I wanna share what it looks like with the lights kind of dimmed down. So let me go ahead and turn off some lights and share with you the warm, cozy feel in, in the room here. Okay, so I have dimmed the lights and I just think it makes it look so cozy and warm and romantic in here now. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I hope you are too and that you enjoyed this video. Come back and see me again next French Friday. We will be doing more decorating around my home for Valentine's Day. And like I mentioned earlier, stay tuned for the pictures, the daytime pictures, if you wanna see that. I'm going to insert the photos here at the end. So, all right, friends, until next time, au revoir.